so we're ready to begin texturing the plane here. So if we just take a look and I open up my, or apply an unwrap UVW to this, and then open up my edit UVW window, uh, you'll see that my edit UVW, or my UVs are laid out here. And I just need to save off this UV template so I can begin painting it. Uh, what I'm going to go over today is I mean, two different types of texturing, because we can easily save this off as like a 1024 by 1024 map and then resize it. And that's what I'll do here, is I'll just save this off. Template. And Targa, 32 bits per pixel, like so. Then I can close this, close this. And this is already set, so um, I'll just keep that for right now. If I jump over to Photoshop, I can go to File Open. And I can open up my UV template. And we could easily begin painting here, but we're going to get a lot of seams, alright? So, I mean, I'm going <coughs> to to actually be able to paint a clean line that's on this side as well as this side. I mean, it can be difficult and time consuming because I will be jumping back and forth. So, I'm going to show you a process that makes your workflow go a lot faster. All right. Can you paint this way? Yes, absolutely. All right, but just be aware that it, it does take a little extra time to paint this. So I'm going to go back into 3ds Max here, and what I want to do is with my unwrap UVW on there, I had already collapsed it down so my UVs are baked onto the the template of the model, and this is important. Once I've collapsed it and applied another unwrap UVW to this, I'm going to hit the Save button under the Edit UVW or the Unwrap UVWs. So I'm going to hit save, and I'm just going to call this MC underscore 01. And the reason that I call it MC is it's called Map Channel 1. Map Channel 1 refers to the UVs that are going to be imported into our typical game engine. All right, And this is Map Channel 1. And you'll see right here where it says Map Channel 1. So this, like I said, is important right now because we need to save these UVs, or this UVW file because we're going to be calling it back up later on. Now, what I'm going to do is change my map channel to channel 2. And this seems like another unwrapping process, and it sort of is. What we're doing is we're changing the coordinates to map channel 2 so that we can destroy them or edit them. And for me to edit these is I just try to get um, seam locations down. So I do these global details to the overall plane before I go in and this is just to help reduce the number of seams. So I'm going to go in base of object mode, click on select element and so I select the two wings like so and I'm just going to go into my command panel and scroll down to where it says map parameters and we can set this to average normals and just so that you can see so you can see th the bounding box here. We want to make sure that preview quick map Quick, quick map gizmo is enabled like so, so that we can see it. And when we look at this, the projection is based off the normals. So it's actually like projecting down, like at, at this angle here. And that's really not the, what we want. We want it to project down in the, the Z direction. So I'm going to change this to Y, and that's not right. Then I'll change it to Z, and that looks a lot better. So now it is projecting down. Then I'll hit quick planar map. And yes, this destroyed what we did as far as making sure that everything's unwrapped, but there was a purpose for this. I'm going to just take these and overlap these textures to help us with the global details. So I'll do a flip vertical so that I can just stack these on top of each other. And I just try to get them as close as possible. And then I'm going to go to the wings and do a quick planar map again in the Z direction. I'll uncheck select element and go to my edge subobject mode. Selecting one of these edges down the center here, I'm going to click on edge loop. Tools break, so I break that off. And then I'm going to just select one piece like this and go to flip vertical. Once I have flip vertical, I'll just move it on top, again, stacking those two pieces, those two sections on top of each other. I'm not worried about scale at this point, so just keep that in mind. Uh, then I'll just go to the side of the plane. I'll change my alignment so that I get a side projection, like so.
quick planner map and move that off to the side. Um, as far as the wing goes, or this back fin here, I can. I already have my alignment set to Y, so I can just do a quick planner map there, and that's good. I'm just going to scale down some of these pieces. As far as the rest of the pieces go, is I really don't need to modify these at all. Um, I can keep them the way they, they are. But from here is I'm just going to take everything and throw it back into the 0 to 1 space. This is this sort of defeats the purpose or goes against what I was saying earlier as far as not overlapping textures and make sure that you use all the 0 to 1 space. And the reason that we're breaking the rules that were established earlier is because we're not actually using this to finalize our texture. Is we're using this as a sort of a roughed out base texture. So this is just to assist us along our way rather than be our final solution. Alright, so now that I have this, I'm going to go to my tools, render UVW template, and I'll save this off as a larger map. So I usually save this off at 20 or, tw or double the size of the, the other image. So our other image was 1024 by 1024, so I'm going to do 2048 by 2048. Hit render UVW template. It does look bad here, and that's because it's 1 to 4 right now. And then I'll save this off as MC02 UV template, or just template. And again, 32-bit per pixel targa. Then I can close this, close this, and I want to just save off these UVs in case I need to call them back. So I'm going to, oops, I screwed up somewhere. So um, because I just forgot to do this earlier, I'm going to change this to map channel 2, like so, and then hit save, and just save this as MCO2. And this is where it's going to be really important since I did do that as far as I didn't set this earlier, is that this map channel 1 is going to come in handy. So I'll hit save. So I have now two .uvw files. You'll see map channel 1, map channel 2, and they are two different files. And to prove that, I'll do a load and load MCO1. There's my original template. And then I'll load MCO2. There's the new one that I just created. So at this point, I'm going to go over to Photoshop. And this is my original template, which I can just minimize for right now. What I want to do is open up my UV or Map Channel 2 template here. And then I'm going to unlock this by double clicking. Go to my Channels tab, click on the Alpha thumbnail, Control Shift I, and hit Backspace. So I deselect. Then here I'm going to go create a new layer. And I call this new layer Base. Uh, the base layer can be just about anything. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I will use, I guess, blue, um, just to make it a little more obscure. So I'm just trying to get a lighter blue, sort of like a s color. Like this should work. And once I have the base established, I'm going to create a new layer and call it stripes. Uh, with the stripes layer, what I do is I go in and try to establish markings for the plane. All right, so um, the color theme that I'll use is I'll, I'll use this gray here as a secondary color theme, and I can use my lasso tool or I can use my rectangle marquee to make these stripes. And I'll go in by just using my rectangle marquee. Is that since these should be basically at 90 degrees, I can just go in like so and I'll just fill on the stripe layer. And if I want to make similar size stripes, I'll just do something like this. And the reason that I'm doing this or doing it this way is because what's happening or what's going to happen is that it's going to mirror on 
both the top and bottom of the wing, but then it's also going to be on both sides. So I don't have to worry about seam locations. I'll do the same thing here with the front end here. So, try something like that, and then I'll just go to my polygon lasso. something like that and then uh, using the same gray I'll just do the support rod here that gray um, I'll do the front propeller gray I'll do the actual propeller gray and I mean I call it stripes but I'm just being general here and then I'll also go in with the polygon lasso for this inner part of the engine I'm just going to go from point to point to point um, back to the beginning to close this and then fill this selection. And I, I try not to get too many details just yet. But, I mean, in certain locations I can definitely add details because if I didn't really mess with the UVs, like for this, this, um, I did mess with the UVs there, but for the window and for the propeller, I can add extra details that I wouldn't be able to add on these parts of the, the plane because of just the way that it, it works out. Um, I'll just create a new layer. I'll do window and I want more of a, I guess I'll just do a square windows. Try something like this. Um, I'll use the the gray for right now, and then I'll also go up here. And this is where I'll, I'll get a little more detailed. And what I'll, I'll do is I'm going to go to the outside edges of my template, like so. And I don't have to be exact. I can be just pretty close. Um, the closer you are, the better the result this can be. All right, so once I have that selection there, uh, I'm going to go to Select modify, contract, and I'll just contract by like five pixels and see how that gives, or see what result that gives me. I'm going to do a contract for 10 pixels instead. All right, that looks better. Uh, then I'll just go and depending on the time of day that this is going to be, it's going to be different colors. Uh, I'll just use yellow right now. I'll just fill that with yellow. That looks good. And then coming down to this location, I'll click on the, the window selection like so. I'm going to go back to my rectangle marquee, hold down Alt to deselect. And then I'll go to select, modify, contract. There's my 10 pixels. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold down Alt again to make some deselections. And I am eyeing this, so this is this is going to probably be way off. Actually, doesn't look too bad.